This is the Bro Day Pod. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bro Day hashtag no plan B podcast. My name is Gabriel Zaya, bro. I'm Trenno Day. And we're Bro, bro Day. Day. And this is episode number 24. Go on then. 24. Four. 20- Hit him. Four. Hit him. Hit him with the prep. <laughs> 24 is gump. 20. Wow, really good. Is that yeah. off the dome or do you have that prepped? Um, I had honest. it prepped and then forgot it. Oh. So technically, I've just remembered it. So it's uh, off the dome. Sure. Let us know in the comments. Was that off the dome? Hashtag o- O-Dome. O- <laughs> was it off the O-Dome? <laughs> off the Trent O-Dome. Speaking of O-Domes, I got a cheeky little scar on my dome. You do? What was that from? That was from um, Hardcore Halloween. Somehow, oh, the it? other... Yeah, the other game. The other universes have sort of meshed together. Because the veil was so thin. The veil was very, very thin Just at Halloween. All the injuries meshed together. All the injuries meshed together. There you go. Very good. Well done. See, the gimmick works if you make it work. What gimmick? <laughs> this is who we are. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. How many stitches <laughs> did you get? Uh, three. Did it... F- so, she raw-dogged it. <laughs> right? Like <you> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she raw dogged it, bro. She raw dogged me. I just Ugh. lay there and took you it. Just lay there and took it. Like Ugh. she didn't, she didn't That's like anesthesia up or anything. Sentence. No, she did. She did. Oh, she did. Yeah, she had local. She oh, had local anesthesia. She just anesthetic. raw dogged you nah. with the needle, fish and hooked it. She had uh, local anesthetics, and then the, obviously the first injection was so painful because there in is. That, was it in the wound itself? Yeah, in the wound. Oh, dude, like in there, and because there's very <laughs> little. You let someone else get inside you. Are you kidding me? That's... <laughs> So gross. Are you joking me? What happened with you and your finger? I don't actually think... No, it went yes, on the did. side. It was the ring blocker. Yeah. That's not in the wound wound. Like, yeah, but it's still I'm in just, you. I'm not going to do that anymore. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, so... Especially okay. if you're calling it a ring blocker. Yeah. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Ten <laughs> siblings. <laughs> um, so, they, so they put the needle in the actual cut. Yeah, she did. She, yeah, she put the needle... I'm pretty sure. Somewhere there. And then... Obviously, that was the most painful because there's very little amount of muscle or flesh in your forehead. Yeah. So it's just sort of essentially skin and bones, bro. Straighten your dome. Straighten the dome. How many stitches and you get? Three. I felt the first and the third one. The it's first second one, one you're like, it's easy. <laughs> the first one because the uh, anesthetic didn't. Um, wasn't in yet. Yeah, it didn't ha- it didn't uh, wasn't affecting me as yet. So I felt the first one, and then the third one because it was down the other end of where the anesthetic was injected. It didn't get there in time. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so the first one I felt like I've properly felt puncture, oh. puncture, sew it together. I felt my skin come together close up, and I'm like, it's all right. This is the first one. We're good. We're good. Yeah. Second one, I'm like, ah, oh, easy. Didn't even feel it. Yeah. No dramas. And then the third one, same again, felt... You felt it I in, felt it tear the skin close, in, in, tie. tie it up. And I'm like, oh, good. Thank goodness for the local anesthetic. Oh, dude. Um, but yeah, three stitches and they come out uh, at some point. Are you going to take them out? Surely you, you Probably. just rambo it. Sure. Point, just I'll just raw dog it. Yeah, just raw dog it. Just raw dog it. Um, speaking of things that are raw dog... I'll go on then. We're raw dogging the question for season one, <laughs> yeah, folks. Yeah, well done. Hey, <laughs> That's it. Hey, What a segue. King of the segways, they call me. Gabriel, king of the segways, mm. Zaya. That's me. Yeah. Hello. Anyway, what's the question? What are, what are you even talking about? What? Oh, the question, <laughs> right. Um, oh, the soundboard's so far away. All right, you uh, mill around a bit. Uh, Ad lib. Okay. Ad lib. I'm, gonna gonna <laughs> I'm just going to tell them. The... Question for season one, which is coming towards the end of this year, actually. We've only got like X four, amount of podcasts yeah, X left. amount of pods left, like four, I reckon. I reckon probably get like four, you five reckon? more pods in at most before the Maybe, end of the year. Yeah, probably two or three recording sessions, I reckon. Yeah, two or three recording sessions left. And before we answer the big question, mm-hmm. which is yeast or cheese. Oh, I don't know. You, you had the setup. You had the, su- you had the setup. I don't know. Fermented milk. <laughs> Yeast or fermented milk? It just rolls off the tongue. Churned milk? What's cheese? I don't know. You should know. What is it? Who knows? It's Maybe this man God-like. can answer it. Oh, yeah, go on I then. Can I get the right one? Yeah? I don't, I don't know. know. Is it that one? Cheese grommet. Cheese grommet. Very good. So the question is bread or cheese? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. Oh my goodness, we took so long. Yeah, bread or cheese? Yeah. You either are part of the... Cheese fam. Yep. And then you... Cheese grommet. Cheese or grommet. you're a hashtag bread bro. And at which case, you need a call to action. 
Go to bread. Go to bread. A call to action. CTA, part of the KPIs. There you go. It'll fit into our LORE and eventually become LAW. But right now, support it the is crypto a- boom. Bro, don't shut up. Um, I, you, 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 no, you brought it up. You all right. brought it up. Anyway, what are we doing? I, um, so, ladies and gentlemen, you can eventually, at the end of the season, yes. vote. And that's how you can show, so show our support, right? Show It'll be support. on everything, too. It'll be like, on everything. We'll, we'll make sure that it's Every- on like Facebook, how Instagram, gonna, YouTube. Wait, how are we going to count the votes? Are we going to count it ourselves or are we going to get a third party? Why would we? So that we, it gets revealed on the pod. Like, have someone log on to our socials, put no the question way. out. And that why? Oh, yeah, that's my fair. They, they won't be able to handle all the DMs of everyone asking yeah, for... Yeah, um, you know, like they, they might actually bring back Spin, spin the, wheel. the Wheel. It could be a whole Bro. Story. I'll get my partner to do it. All right. Yeah, so then it, we just get it in an envelope. Yeah, we'll just get it in an envelope. And it'll be very um, very formal. Very uh, like the Dally M. Very like the Brownlow. Like yeah. uh, um, the Oscars? Sure. Yeah. But if you do want to support us, yep. if you want to support the pod... Yep. Head up Patreon. Yes. Patreon.com forward slash Bro Day Tag Team. Mm. That's our socials and everything, by the way. Bro Day Tag Team on every ting. Our TikTok boomed, by the way. The X, it oh, blew up. Yes. Did you see it? No, I didn't see it. Bro, it's like nearly a thousand views. Yo, well done. Bangers. Numbers. Bangers. Hashtag numbers fam. Numbers fam. People love the X, though. They oh, do. I actually find to be really fair, funny. yeah. I they were really funny. well funny. Did you see what um, at, I think, Tab- at Tabitha Thomas, Thomas? Yeah. yeah, it posted the. Yeah, go on then. I don't remember. Was, no, the ick was... That's right. It was... Um, the sliding doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when he goes to walk through an automatic door and it doesn't open, yeah. so he has to move back oh. so it opens again. Oh, I've, I felt, it, once again, it is, not our fault. Exactly. It's not our fault not our that fault. it doesn't open. In fairness, there was at one point I walked to the shops and some dude was doing that. And I was walking up like maybe 10 or 15 minutes behind him and I saw it happen. So he sort of did the walk up to it, look up, walk back, walk up to it. And he obviously had to make a joke for it because he just got alphaed by an inanimate object. <laughs> so he's like, I've got a soul, damn it. And I'm like, yeah. That's funny. That's very niche Simpsons reference yeah. as well because Bart yeah. can't walk through the closing door. That exactly. Soul. Yeah. So I popped for that and then I walked up and away you go. How many Old times soul before you have having to, Gabe. How many times before the door opened? Like, how, how many, many times attempts before, before you, give you up? have to leave? Like, Out of shame. I don't know. I don't know. How, ma- how many? I don't- Four. Four? If I walk in nah, and I'm like, nah. Twice. Nah. Nah, nah. twice, bro. And then uh, Two. I'm gone. Two tops. I'm leaving the shop. No, nah, like, I, I got once. See people it doesn't there. work. I got once. It doesn't work. I go up again. It doesn't work. I assume the shop is closed. You can see people in there. doesn't matter. It's closed. <laughs> it's closed for me. And I'm like, oh, I can't believe they closed at 1.30 in the afternoon. Yeah, can't believe on a Thursday, on a business day. Yeah, on bu- yeah exactly. Yeah, With exactly. The sign saying, "Come in, we're open." <laughs> can't believe no, that. I know. Yeah, pieces of crap. Yeah. As if they do that to me. Oh well. Looks yeah, like I'm taking my business elsewhere. There was another ick that I saw. Was like when <laughs> when he runs up at a pigeon and it doesn't fly away. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that with cats. You go up, you try and scare a cat and away. Fly away? Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, big time ick. No, you, like you try and like shoo a cat away, and it just stands there looking at you. Like cats have got stones, though, man. Nah, they're yeah, most some animals they've got, have stones. Nah, cats have gall. They haven't got stones. Yeah, they've got, they got gall. gall. Yeah, they audacity. Yeah, they got the audacity, bro. Yeah, the audacity from them. Anyway, where are we at? Um, yeah, follow us on Patreon. On the socials. Support us on Patreon. Support us on Patreon. It's a dollar fifty per month is the minimum. You get absolutely nothing except, except our, except the knowledge that you're supporting us financially one way or another, and our you, love. You get yeah, you get our love. Well, we we can well, be we bought. love everyone. Yeah, well, no, we can be bought. Sure, we'll um, love you a little extra. Yeah, that little bit extra, and a it's dollar fifty extra. Yeah, and it gets us and off the street between fam. the two of us. By the way, gets us off the streets. <laughs> so oh, no. So no, no, hang on, hang on. It even then, so. On the f- so we get, it, it comes through, yeah. So there's the tax. So it gets ten percent gets taken off, and PayPal takes off a dollar fifty minimum for every uh, every amount that gets withdrawn out of Patreon. So it goes Patreon to PayPal. That transaction, PayPal or Patreon, one of them takes out a dollar fifty every time. So if we have one person a month, we could realistically be losing money. Amazing. <laughs> so please support us on Patreon. Amazing. <laughs> Make sure we don't lose money. And then after that, it gets split 50 50. Yeah. We're going to be rolling I it love fam. That. We're going to get us off the streets. And you know, you can do that. Bro, to hashtag Plan B podcast. No, hashtag no Plan B. Get us off the streets. And you can make sure we're off the streets. 
by pledging more. You yeah. can pledge a hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, what tell them what I'll him? do for it. Hundred and fifty dollars. Our dear boy Trent over here. That's me. That's him right there. He's gonna hit you with a song of any of your choosing. Yeah, I'll whatever rap. you pick, whatever you want. Yeah, you can pick whatever you want. I'll do a full EDM bass set. Oh, bro, that's gangster. Just acapella though. And last time, what? I'll do a full dead mouse bass. <laughs> like the whole thing Bro I'll put it together That's insane It'll be sick yeah It'll That's be crazy Because last Last one you were like You'll do The Shrek I'll, Yeah I'll, I need a hero As Shrek Doing Fairy Godmother's voice Thank With you. back With backing tracks by Mongo Mongo The big And you'll even throw in a boo, goo. So you do yeah. it better than me What value is that? $150 Not only does it get us off the streets It gets you an incredible Incredible I'll personalize song I'll well. And if it's all right by you, the one that's pledging, we'll publish it. Oh, will we? We'll put it out. On Spotify. On Spotify, on the social Spotify on podcast everything. episode. As we said, we're not expecting anyone to do it. It's never going to happen. Exactly. But I'm hoping to Murphy's Law it. The more we say no one's going to do it, someone will do is it. Is that Murphy's Law? Someone will do it. Yes, it is. Isn't Murphy's Law everything um, that can go wrong will go wrong? Same, same. It's someone's law. One of us is right. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll never find out. Oh, now we've got to make a dent. This is Mel. No, this is Mel Gibson law. It's Mel Gibson's law. It's Mel's law. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Mel's law. <laughs> Mel Gibson, Gibson's law is what I said before, which I can definitely remember. Yeah. Tag. Hey, Trent, you want to step into the universe? Okay. Because that's the gimmick, bruv, isn't it? That's yep. the bloody gimmick, fam. It's Allow it, blood. Go. Gimmick, blood. So this one. Mm. We mentioned the Oscars. We, I, I mentioned you the mentioned Oscars. You mentioned the Oscars. A little, a little seed there. I planted the seed for it to come into fruition. 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 Into fruition. Right Fru- here. Huh? I T on. Bingo. For it to come into fruition right now. This is it. This is storytelling. You plant the seeds early and you get them. Two Two seconds later. A little bit later, fam. <laughs> in literally the next segment, blood. All right. You've been watching too much UK grunge, by the way. Dude, I know. I I love it, man. It's very... I love it, fam. It's a a take. It's taking your personality. Yeah, that's all right. Whatever. So, did you know that Georgie Boy Clean... Whoa, whoa. Are you jumping straight in? Yeah, what else want to do? Is it actual factual? What's the name of the statement? um, George Clooney facts? Yeah, all right. Yeah, it's um, Clooney clues. That are true. So, they're not clues. Um, It's, It's... George on. Trooney. George Trooney. Well done. You're good at these. Very good. So, did you know George Clooney once gave his 14 closest friends a million dollars each oh. in cash? A million dollars, bro. So, how much is that between 14 friends? It's like 12 million bucks. Nearly. I <laughs> know. Oh, Close enough is good enough. Yeah. Yeah, bro. 14 million. He so must have dumb amounts of money. He, How much money yeah. do you reckon he has? Seriously. So his his What's whole his thing? net worth. I don't know. Like at least twelve, thirteen million. At least. At least, yeah, bro. At least, at least fourteen million. Maybe fifteen million. Yeah, maybe. So his whole thing was like, he credits. So he cl- he credits his closest friends with helping him get where he is today. And in twenty thirteen, he decided to pay them all back for what they'd done. Literally. So back then, the perpetual bachelor had just met his future wife Amal and didn't have any kids at the time. He didn't he didn't expect to start a family anytime soon, but. Quote, did. What I do, what I do have are the guys who have, who've all over a period of 35 years helped me in one way or another. Clooney's movie Gravity had just become a hit, which brought an unexpected windfall for the actor. Because they didn't want to pay us, they gave us percentages of the movie because they thought it was going to be a flop and that ended up being a very good deal and it blew up. Yeah, nice. So very cool. Clooney decided to pay it forward to his friends. He purchased 14 Toomey suitcases. I guess that's a brand. And filled each with a million dollars of cash. He told his friends to mark their calendars for a dinner party at his place. When they arrived, he presented them with the suitcase. Apparently, he had two stipulations. One, it was an all or nothing in terms of accepting it. Either all of them accept it or none of them accept it. Oh, dude. So, if there's anyone... like, So, he, would, he told them all, look, you either all have to accept it or you all don't accept it. So, if there's someone like, no, no, I don't want it, I don't want it. You then, if you're one of the 14 that's like, no, no, it's okay. You don't have to. You're my friend. Don't buy this for me. Don't get, don't give me a million dollars. But then you look at the other 30 and you're like, well, I can't do it to them. So, okay, I'll accept. It ran, a, it ran along those lines, right? Imagine that Big one. power play. Imagine if there's one dude that's like, nah, guys, guys, we can't do it we, to George. I know, we right? love George. George, take these. Right. 
I would be like, I will punch you. <laughs> I, will, I will slaughter you now. Yeah, yeah, what? I don't care. I will kill you right. You don't want the million? Fine. Yeah, I'll have dead two. Set. He's about to have, yeah, he's about to have 13 friends. <laughs> like, I swear to God. There's one, there's always going to be one yep. that's going to be like, guys. No. At, Guys, meeting, we appreciate meeting. your efforts, George. George, George, thank just you wait so there. much. Just wait there. Guys, team meeting, come in. I think that we should just all give the money back to George. We can't do that as to a, him. As a friend. We can't as do that to him. As a friend. Listen, don't talk over it. As a friend, <laughs> we need to give it back to him. I, I would I'd, Superman punch that person oath. at his dinner party. Bro, 100%. I'd be like, nah, don't care. Nah, we're all in. We're doing it. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm like, Suck it we up. are in. Yep. Straight and away. I'm not even he, looking at anyone else. He's like, either you're all in or you're all out. I'm like, we're all in. Yeah, yeah, that's it. No further questions. <laughs> I think I can speak for the rest of the jury. We are all in. Oh, And his second one is he, he didn't want to know how they'd spend the money. Yeah, that's fair. It's not um, his business anyway. And like, if you were, if that was you. I mean, look, if he turns up to their place in a week and they have a new house and a yacht, you can figure it out. <laughs> you can put two and two together. How much does a yacht cost? I don't know. <laughs> how much would it cost? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the way you said that was funny. Um, a yacht. Which one? Would you want, which one would you want to be, George or one of the fourteen? George, you always, always George. Like if you're no, no, but like, all right, maybe one of the fourteen. So, as in, not as like in you get to exactly. know George and you get George's money. No, no, as in like, if you, you, would you want to be the guy in the friend group that has all this cash and helps the friends out, or like, would you be, would you be one of the one that's like? Accept the cash. And... No, you want to be George. For a multitude of reasons, but no, definitely like, want to be George. Yeah, you want to be the guy that's like... That's nah. helping the friends yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How because about- they... Well, they, I, I mean, but assuming that he's... He, you just said that he, they're paying... They helped him, so he's paying them back in a way. So he obviously feels yeah. that their friendship has meant enough... Yeah. ...to then pay them a million dollars, which... I don't know, it's always nice if you feel that way, right? Is there ever a number that, like, offends you? Like, say it was me, right? And the crypto boom explodes. And I'm like, yo, bro, you help me out. Yeah. Here's all my crypto. My, I got all this extra crypto cash. Yeah. Look, man, here's, here's X amount. Treat yourself. Like, here's an, a little extra something. Okay. Have this. This will help you out. This is going to help you out in your is life. Is there a number that offends me? Yeah. Is there a number that offends you? Yeah, seven bucks. So, if I got $8, you're like, thanks, bro. That's going to help me <laughs> yeah. out so much. Yeah. yeah no, like, it's like sub. If you're like, a, yeah, low offends me. mm High does not. <laughs> like, Obviously. If you're What's like, the number? Uh, like oh, so you're like 10K. legitimately, if there's like a, I was yeah. trying to make a gimmick of it, like a joke of it being like, yeah, a low number would offend me. But if you're like legitimately, if there is a number where, where yeah. my cutoff of offense is. Yeah, sure. Roughly. How much money did you win? So that doesn't matter. You no, know, I have you to don't, know. No, you don't know that. I have to know that. You don't know. I just go, I did really well. Bro, crypto blew up. Oh my goodness. I've got this insane oh, look, coin. If crypto blew up. Shiba Inu has blown up and I hate it. I hate, but sub note. Side, sidebar. Yeah, I don't know what I this meme coin is. I hate Shiba Inu. The meme yeah. coin, I hate so much. Yeah. But anyway. But no, I have to know how well you're doing. I have to know if whether it's considerable. Because to you, you might be like, oh, I did really well in crypto. You might have won like 200 bucks. And so you're like, hey, man, here's like, here's like 20 bucks for, for helping me out. Like, you know, for support, whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, that's a decent cut of 200 bucks. Yeah, it's a 10 percent. All right, say you it's know. 1%. It's 1%, then what's the number? If it's 1%, say I make, I don't know, 400K. And I go, hey, bro, you know what? You help me out. You give me You've four been grand. there, here's four grand. Do you go, ah. Oh. I'm not scoffing at four grand. Anything in the thousands? How I'm would you feel? Scoffing. Would you be alright with it? Would you be like, oh, yep. bro, thank you so much? Or would yes, you be like, absolutely? Or would it be like, oh man, this feels. Awkward. To be honest, dude, you're giving me money for effectively being friends with you. I'm not scoffing at any amount of money, but it'd get to a point where if it was like, I oh, just 400k, bro, is 50. I'd be like, just don't give me money. Like 50 what dollars? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's 50 bucks. I'm like, just don't give me the money. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I'm okay so with being friends with you. So it's a, a percentage. You're like, at that point, look, bro, you, you're giving me 50 bucks. Clearly, you are the one that needs that 50 bucks yeah, more. No, because clearly, you care about you're the, money the one more. that needs to give away the $50. I'm not the one that needs $50. You need to give it away yeah. to feel better. Yeah. For some reason, there is something going on in your personality where you're mm. like, Oh, I need to feel like I'm giving back. Yeah, I'll yeah. give him 50 bucks because the money's still mine. Like, yeah. you need to give that money away. I don't need it. 
Like then yeah. that's a thing for you. That's yeah. not for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you're like, hey man, I want four hundred K, here's four grand. I'm not scoffing at a one percent of four grand. Four of four hundred. One percent of four hundred. Sorry, yeah, whatever yeah. it is. Yeah, I'm I'm not scoffing at that. Yeah. Cause like anything in the thousand, I'm like, dude. Thank you. Like, oh my god, yeah. you don't need to do that. But there is a point where I'd probably just be like, you've won all this money. You offering me like a hundred, like not even like. Honestly, a hundred bucks, I'd start to be like, you don't need to give me that. Like, I'm okay yeah. with not having a hundred dollars. Like, yeah. I do well enough for myself without the hundred dollars. Yeah, you don't need to give me the hundred dollars. It's obviously a you thing. Mm. You obviously want to give it to me. Yeah. So yeah, that that would be how I would get. Well, it, it's probably. funny you should say that because actually, nothing's happening. Crypto, nothing's happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Crypto portfolio Crypto's sucks. It's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> hey, bro, twenty percent in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> 20% down. It's all right. The boom is coming. Well done. The boom is coming. Is that it? George Trini? George Trini. Tag. Nice. I don't know why we do that. Do what? Eh. That, yeah. Eh. <laughs> it's on Patreon. All right. Eventually, when we have a tier list that is actually content-based. I feel like this can be a thing now. I think this could be a thing. What? Where I interrupt your segments with a Patreon plug. I don't like it. Um, would you like to step into... Patreon.com slash Pro Detective. A universe. Go on then. Because that's a gimmick. Because it's the gimmick. Because it's the gimmick. And also, mm-hmm. this is the universe of, of things Hit em. that are Hit em. actual. <gasps> no. Not true. Oh. These are the opposite. This mm? is uh? unactual, unfactual. Okay. <gasps> oh no Unactual We unfactual. got rid of the dun, 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 Off the soundboard We did Instead you can have One of these ones uh, Ladies and gentlemen Not wrong button is... You lose There we go Okay There we go right. We lost it We didn't have it Alright So you like to do things That are actually factual Correctual That's, that's correct <laughs> That is correct Alright I You I'm gonna Blow your mind All right, go on then. wide open. Okay, I'm ready. With things. It's ready. It's that like you, that you possibly may believe. My mind is like the yep. that um t- uh, toothpaste ad where the dude's flip top head and then yeah. like he brushes his teeth. <laughs> if you haven't got a flip top head, you'll need the Oral B uh, electric toothbrush. That was the thing, remember? Do you remember well that? Well done. You remember the idea? No, I don't, but you've just described it in such vivid detail. Yeah. I think I want an Oral B electric toothbrush. Perfecto. Um Oral B. Sponsor us if you want. Oral B. We're not sponsored. We're, We're just love, big fans. We're just big fans. Um, I'm sure there's an Oral B in Greece, maybe. For our Greek listener, Tikanis, Kala, um, Evcharisto, um, Hellas, um, Athens, um, Baklava, all the <laughs> classic Greek words. Give him a Greek word. Give him a Greek word, Trent. Yogurt. Oh, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> yeah. Over there, they just call it yogurt. We call it Greek yogurt. <laughs> yeah, very well done. All right, these are a list of things that you may believe. <gasps> Maybe it's may believe. The wide Maybe variety of people believe. may have heard. Mm. May believe. May believe. That's what I should have called it. Yeah, bro. May believe. Maybe maybe he's born with it. Maybe it's may believe. Maybe it's may believe. What um, a segment. That's that's the title. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, so, may believe them, but they are not true. You, you've got a sting for this one, don't you? Here, here it is. Yeah. There's no, no sting. sting. There's no sting. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Did you believe, or do you believe, or yep. did you believe yep, 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 that yep, a penny yep. dropped from the top of the Empire State Building would, would kill, kill someone? Yeah, that's that's what that was. Uh, that was law, L O R E. That was law, yeah. and you're going to tell me that it's not law, L A W? Yeah, no, uh, it's unlawful. A penny U N L A W F U L. Yes, I'm going to stop spelling. Uh, a penny dropped from the top of the Empire State Building will not kill you because the. Mm. The the mass Come of on. the penny at terminal velocity physics me yeah. like the the resistance provided against it by the wind at the speed it's dropping yep. does it doesn't provide enough force to go through a human and, skull or skin and kill them and kill them it really at most it'll sting a little bit it'll sort of just sort of just bounce off you bounce off you yeah wow especially me it'll bounce right off me yeah so at most yeah it's it's definitely hench. not gonna I'm bodying that massive. penny I am bodying that penny. Depending on where it hit you, you nah. probably wouldn't even realize that it that you got hit. Yeah, bloody oath, bro. Especially me. 
Especially me. Yeah, man. Bro, if it hits my eyeball, I'm like, easy. 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 Bounce you're, right off. Yeah, you're... Bounce right off. You're looking at Abraham Lincoln dead in the eyes. Bro, like, oh, no. yep. No blink. <laughs> <laughs> it lands on my eyeball, face up. I'm no eyeball to eyeball with Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. No blink. Easy. No blink. <laughs> no blink. Um, did you believe that you can see the Great Wall of China from space? I have... That's another one. That's another L-O-R-E. I did not believe it. Wait. Yeah, no, I didn't believe it. Yeah, so NASA confirms that the Great Wall of China, frequently billed as the only man-made object visible from space, can't actually be seen from the final frontier. So then why um, is And it although the fact that? was debunked by a Chinese astronaut, Yang Liwei, mm. the textbooks were never changed, and so they often still claim that this is true. Do you know the last time we went on the moon? 1969. No joke. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it was nice. <laughs> nice. I think it, 69 or the 70s. Yeah, but people have been to space since then. Just yeah, the yeah, yeah, but not the moon, bro. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. when it was debunked, when yeah. this Chinese astronaut Yang, Yang Liwei went to space. Yeah. But are you okay? Yeah, I'm very okay. I'm just happy. Very happy. Very right. glad and happy and happy and glad. Good. Perfect. Um, did you believe that cracking your knuckles would give you arthritis? Mm. Yes. You did believe that? I did believe that. Yeah, so it's probably told to you by somebody who can't stand the noise of the bones popping. Yeah, these All ones. Right, but... Um, Cracking your knuckles and other body parts will not give you arthritis. Um, Dr. Yes. Robert Clapper, an orthopedic surgeon. At <laughs> Robert Clapper? Yeah, nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, Robert Clacker. Cracker. Aww. Damn it. Cracker. Rob, is it, so which one is it? It's Clapper. <laughs> it's, it is Clapper. Yeah, explain yeah, right. that um, right. there is no harm in cracking your knuckles. The noise of cracking is just actually nitrogen bubbles bursting in your synovial fluid. Oh, yeah, I knew that bit. It doesn't. I knew that. Arthritis. Yeah, I knew the synovial fluid bit. Yeah. Cool. Um, did you believe that it takes seven years for your body to digest a piece of gum? I was told this yes, same. all the time. Yep, 100%. As I think it was kid? just to not chew it, I guess. Yeah, but it doesn't. Just to not swallow it. Not swallow it. It Sorry, was to not stop chew people it. from not swallowing, swallowing it. it. Yeah. Because yeah, I yeah. think it was more of a choke hazard than an actual Probably. gut thing. Yeah. But yeah, like like any other piece of food, it just, it just shoots gets in and out yeah. in like Straight seven through. to eight hours. Yeah. You know, um, it just won't corn, be digested. Corn is the only food that can um, reverse digest. Excuse me? If you have corn in any form, doesn't matter what form you have it, it will always come out in kernel form. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> oh, good. Doesn't matter what, bruv. You could have corn oil. You go to the toilet <laughs> and you look corn. down, you're like, dude, are you kidding me? Has it reformed into a kernel? <laughs> Gross. Salute. Um, did you uh, ever hear that you, on average, kernel, you swallow kernel, eight corn. spiders a year in your sleep? No. Nah. You never heard that? No. Uh, really? Yeah, no. I heard that heaps. Really? Yeah, it was one of those Look like high. creepy facts that people do would tell do you, like do freak do you do out. Do 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 and so the, the 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 rumor went that on average you swallow eight spiders a year mm. in your sleep. Mm. They just crawl into your mouth and then Danny again Danny gullet. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Awful word, gullet, but... It I'm is, it. yeah. Um, obviously, that's not true. No. Nah. Uh, spiders okay. don't go looking for your open orifice. Yeah, that's fair. Open face orifice. Oriface. Yeah. Or, orifice. Love um, it. Don't go looking for it. And normally, when people are making lots of noise, snoring or whatever in bed, they yep. wards the spiders off so they don't go anywhere near your mouth. Yeah, so fair. that never happens. Fair enough. So you've probably never swallowed one Ooh. unless you've deliberately gone out to eat yeah. it. You won't. You won't swallow one and send us the video. You won't. Gross. Um, also, last one. Did you know or did you ever believe that your hair and fingernails continue to grow after death? I saw this and I recently found out what you're about to say. So Go for it. You tell you tell the people. Up until tell the up people. until I knew, I did think that. Yeah. I used to think it all I Yeah, I used to think it for ages, but it's that your the your skin and like your body sort of shrivels a little bit. Yeah. And that's why it looks like it grows more. Yeah. Yeah. So your, sh your skin and everything sort of like shrinks away and all yeah. the water shrinks and Shrinks away. Yeah, exactly. It dries yeah. up. So it gives it, the illusion of everything growing, growing but more. it's not. The skin's just... Exactly. It's yeah. just huge smaller. Getting down around it. So, yeah. yeah. Get so it. yeah, no. Nothing keeps happening after you're dying. That's it. Wow. That's... Into the deep abyss you go. Nah, bro. I'm not having that. Sleep. Forever sleep. sleep. No, it's the other way around, bro. It's the forever awakening. Anyway. Sleep. Awake. Tag. Pretty tag team. Hey, Trent, you want to see me to a universe? Okay. This is the universe. Okay. Very good. Okay. This, this is the universe of yep. actual factual. Oh, but we just did that. No, we didn't, you goose. Remember, it wasn't. Oh, that's they right. Unactual, unfactual. They my were, segment has substance. It was. And oh, is original. The whole time. From the hip. <laughs> Anyone's phone ringing. Anyone's phone ringing. Not. Nah. That was uncalled for. That's unfortunate. Um, 
Actual factual. Did you know? Fact me, boy. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> no, that's fine. No, yeah, need, no that no, works. No, fact no, me, boy. <laughs> no need to beep it. You're fine. <laughs> so, did you know that when your skin goes red after being in the sun too long, that's essentially your skin cells committing suicide to avoid becoming cancerous. What? Yep. That's it. Is that what sunburn is? Is that what you told me? Essentially, yeah. That's, that's, that's pretty much what it is. It's your skin cells killing themselves because they're like, nah, bro, we ain't about this cancerous life. We ain't finna kill our host. Yo. Right? so nice. It is nice. One in every thousand sea turtles born ever. One in every thousand sea turtles born make it to adulthood. I've One in a thousand? One in a thousand, bruv. It seems like a, a surprise. <gasps> Ryan will get in on that. He will. And he'll probably give us an addendum. But it's yeah. actual factual. And actual factual never has any addendums. No, it's normally pretty rock solid. It is. Despite. And I still, every time I re-listen it back... You question things, and I'm like, "Don't." That's what I'm trying not to do it this time. Integrity. I don't, I'm not questioning integrity. Good. I'm just giving. Play my it natural. Play it natural. If you need to question integrity, then okay, fine, do it. One in a thousand seems low, though. Oh, for Christ! It seems low. Yeah, that's the whole point. If it was, an, it's like one in every two schools graduating. If it was every normal number, if it was a normal no, number, it's, not. it's one in every large high school graduating. One kid in every large high school graduating. Makes it to adulthood. That's probably why they're endangered. Well, fair enough. <laughs> All right. Oh, can't argue with that. <laughs> the sound made from the Krakatoa volcanic eruption in, in 1883. Very close, actually. Oh, that was that's what really I good. Yeah. It was so loud that it erupted eardrums of people 65 kilometers away. Yo. <laughs> wow. It, tra- it traveled around the world. I'm the integrity. I'm saying that's... Close. Yeah, I know. It traveled around the world four times. The noise? Yep. So, does it, that mean everyone on the earth heard it? It traveled around the world four times. What does that mean? That means it traveled around the world four times. So, everyone heard it? Around the world. Okay. Four times. Crack and top. Where's that again? Don't know. Isn't that what got released and killed um, hey? Jack Sparrow? There you go. Very good. It was the... Um, Krakatoa. That's what happens... Release the crack... It. You got it. That's what happens when you... um. When you have like uh, air bubbles, uh, air nitrous bubbles of synovial fluid in between your toes, you crack a toe, you crack a toe. Um, it travelled the world four times and was clearly heard four thousand eight hundred kilometers away. Oh, so if I'd have just listened to the rest of your fact, I probably would have got my answer. So the there equivalent is that it would have been clearly heard from Perth to Townsville. Yo. Mental fam. Yeah, that's huge. You know the symbol for division. It's yes. a blank fraction with dots replacing numbers. Oh. Cool, eh? You can hear the difference between hot and cold water while it's pouring. No, you can't. Yes, you can. No, you can't. <laughs> yes, you can. Guess what we're doing? All right, fine. Let, we'll, you do that. Okay. We'll, we'll, you know what? Right now, put it on a TikTok. Put it on a TikTok. We'll have, a sting. We'll have a sting for it. All right, we'll play it now. We'll call it. No, we got no sting. There's no sting. There's no sting. <laughs> when they first measured Mount Everest, yep. it was a bizarrely round number, so they had to add on a few fake inches to be more believable. It was 29,000 feet clean. Exactly 29,000 feet, but they had to add on two feet just to make it seem believable. No way. People, yeah, in like the 1800s or whatever, like late 1800s, when Sir Something, Sir, whatever his name, Sir Something Everest... Yeah. When he discovered it. That was his first name. Something. Something yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was, when he discovered um, it, 29,000 feet clean. <laughs> Sumpang. <laughs> Sumpang. <laughs> no, that's not Swedish. Neither of ours was Swedish. <laughs> yeah, 29,000 feet clean. And people would have thought that it's a rounded up number or a rounded number. So they wouldn't have believed it. So they had to make it 29,002 feet. Since then, they've recalculated it properly. And it's like 29,080 something feet, I think. Oh, so they even undershot. Like he was wrong. Yeah. Here you go. Everest is really high, man. <laughs> yeah, bro. It is really high. What's higher? You Everest go- upwards or the Grand Canyon downwards? Uh, don't know. You reckon they could fit? Like you could sort of like grab Everest? You'd male and female it. it. Yeah. That's. People know put, what I'm put doing. Your, put your hands down, man. <laughs> you know um, what I'm doing. Yeah. If you're going to. Climb Everest. Yeah. You'd have to be like a Don. You'd have to be like a. No. A, a, I know people that have made it to base camp on a, Everest and they aren't anything special. Climb the whole thing. Well, climb the whole thing. Yeah. You'd be a monster. You'd have to be like a, a Don. Yeah. Like a, 
A, a G? A G. A G. A G. A Don. You know what else is a Don? Dossie. He is. Deucey. Deucey. Big Deuce. Big Deuce. He is. You know who else is a Don? Quick shout out to Big Deuce. Big Deuce. Next episode. Next episode. The big fella. It's a special. Special episode. The special first appear- first guest. The first. That's our first guest, bro. Well, wait, wait, wait. We've got to. We're just teasing it now. Sure. We'll talk about it. Yeah, it's the next episode, though. Next episode. Yeah. You get nothing now. But next week you, get you will. get nothing this week. Next week you get banging content. But now. Okay. You know who else is a Don? When I had a, I properly had a segue there. Anyway, Elon Musk is a Don, bro. Elon Musk. Elon. <laughs> <laughs> Elon Musk. He. Um. I don't know if you saw this on Twitter, right? So there was an article on CNN Business where they were like, two percent of Elon Musk's wealth could solve world hunger," says the director of the UN Food Scarcity Organization or okay. the World Food Program, right? Yep. So which is accounts to about six, yeah, yeah, which accounts to six billion dollars. Yeah. Right. Shock that came eight. out. That came out on Twitter. Elon replies to it to a screen grab of the article, and he's like, "If WFP can describe on Twitter exactly how six billion dollars will solve world hunger, I will sell Tesla stock right now and do it." Straight off the Yo. bat, he calls them out. He's like, "Yeah, if you can do it, I'll do it then." Go on then. You won't. And so, so they replied. They were like, "Headline not accurate. Six billion dollars will not solve world hunger." but it will prevent geopolitical instability, mass migration, and save 42 million people on the brink of starvation, an unprecedented crisis and a perfect storm due to COVID, conflict, and climate crisis. There's another one, right? A follow-up. It's a big drawback. Yeah, big drawback. Huge drawback. Big drawback. After it will save everything. Yep. To it'll do very mm, specific uh, things won't. a little bit. Yeah. The, and the next, the next tweet, continuation of that, they were like, with your help, we can bring hope, build stability, and change the future. Let's oh, talk. The old guilt trip, eh? Let's talk. It isn't as complicated as Falcon Heavy, which is SpaceX's iconic flagship rocket. It's called um, Falcon Heavy. Of course. Um, it isn't as complicated as Falcon Heavy, but too much at stake to not at least have a conversation. I can be on the next flight to you. Throw me out if you don't like what I hear. Right? Elon replies. He's like, Please publish your current and proposed spending in detail so people can see exactly where money goes. Sunlight is a wonderful thing. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how that's, far we are. That's pretty epic. There was another one that he, another article that he shows up, like he follows on, he replies to that tweet and he's like, he published an article which read, this is a bit much, but children as young as nine traded sexual favors oh, for food. Trigger warning for that. From UN peacekeepers in war zones while officials looked the other way. He puts that up to the guy being like, oh, can you explain this, please? By the way. Jeez, just Bro, shooting Elon from the hip. Went straight for the jugular. I don't mind Elon, though. People say I look like him. Yeah? Hey, I got like a square head. It, oh, I can see yeah, it. If, if you see a side-by-side from me at yeah. certain angles, I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can sort of see it. Yeah, that's enough about that. Tag. Stupid Elon. <laughs> Stupid Elon tag. Hey, Gabe. That's me. <laughs> do you want to hear a joke? Yeah, Gundam. What do Kim Kardashian and our sponsors have in common? <laughs> what? what? They both got the K. They both got K. They both got the K. And they're both man-made. <laughs> yeah. And what, what, Kim? And what? Huh? Fight me. <laughs> Fight me, Kim Kardashian. What? Fight me. What are you doing? Fight me. She has kids. And their mum has... <laughs> their mum's cake is fake. Oh, and my... their mum's got fake cake. God, you know who doesn't have fake cake? Bingo. <laughs> That's a segue. Beer. Yes. A, who are they? Baked by Marie. Oh, Our lovely it? sponsors. Yeah, very good. Baked you by Marie. You rattled me. You Bro. rattled me. Fam. Did he expect you to go after Kim Kardashian like that? Bruv, you know where she can meet me? She can meet me on Gologoli Lane. At the Bake by Marie. Yeah, you know, no, this is Bakery. good. I'm going to let you do this one. Bake by Marie. If you're in Townsville area, hit them up, right? Yep. Um, tell them Bro Day sent you. You'll get a... Oh, you'll get nothing nice. nice. <laughs> you'll get a, oh, that's, oh, that's nice. nice. Sweet, guys. That's sweet. Yeah. Um, nothing on Thursday, No, on Thursday, gluten, no charge. Gluten oh, for yeah. free. Gluten for free. Don't question us yeah. on that. Don't quote us on it. Don't quote us on it. Nothing. This is legally binding. But definitely hit them up. Three Michelin stars. We know star ratings because we travel the multiverse. We know... You, you screwed up the segue. We know... Ah, just, Michelin's. Just, Michelin's. We know Michelin's. God yeah. damn it. Jokes. Yeah, Tag. Okay. <laughs> That's good enough. Go.
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that was the pop culture segment. Now we're going to go into the wrestling roundup. If you want to follow myself, Gabriel Zaya, I am at the real Gabe Bro on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I'm at OdayQWA on the same things. If you'd like to follow me, Trent O'Day. If you want to follow the tag team, it is at Bro Day Tag Team on all the socials. You want to get behind us and support us monetarily, hit us up on Patreon. Oh, I'm so good at that. I'm so good at that. You are. To the millisecond. You are pretty good. I to the to millisecond. Admit. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, to be Bam. fair. Great I'm, job. Like that, bruv. Uh, like that. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> like well. nothing. Like it was nothing. You just threw it on me. You're like, here, yeah, do it. What are we talking about? Bang. Done it. Wrestling roundup. Okay. Let's round up Hardcore Halloween. Yeah. So what Hardcore Halloween was on the 30th of October. It was. And it was in the universe. Uh, 4810. 4810. Which is our eventual main goal to yes. stay there forever. Unfortunately, we did not win the $10,000 Royal Rumble. And not Space Royal. Space Fuel cost money. Space Fuel does cost a lot of money. Space so we couldn't money. afford to stick around. So we had to... Get, Get out, out of there. there. Um, things you took from the night. Things you took from local Townsville-based wrestling. Bro, the crowd was hot. Yeah, crowd was mental. 400? Plus. Plus, easy. Bro, we had 400. We had, there was 400 at the last show. This one was probably 100 more, man. Like, I reckon we were pushing 450 to 500. Yeah, I'd say. Definitely, yeah. man. Yeah. It was a sold out. If we had 400 at the last show. 100%, yeah, yeah it definitely. Was, it was 500. I know last one was... Oh, well, I don't know if we can say this or not. But it was 425, 430? Something like that. Somewhere in between those very narrow numbers. That was the window. But yeah, mm. we, we had that last show. And then this one, there was... I've never stepped... There was heaps of people, Never man. stepped through and saw that many people at the center. Yeah. It was cool. Yeah, it was unreal. They were hot. They were responsive. Yep. They loved seeing the wrestling. Absolutely. I thought kicking the show off with the Hardcore Rumble was great. Yep, 100%. Um, lots of new faces, lots yep. of old faces. I love Brownie of... coming out with a kitchen sink. With the kitchen sink. Like an actual kitchen sink. Yeah, and that was great. wailing on blokes. That was the awesome. Sink. I loved um, Eric Thunder having Thor's hammer. Thor's hammer. And he ran around like... Getting he, bonked, bonking yeah. people. He, um, he went up to the top rope, jumps off the top rope. Superhero landing. Lands in the middle. Slams it on the ground. Everyone, boom, got dropped for it, obviously. And then I think he put it on top of Dick Riggs. Yeah. And then it, he couldn't move it, obviously. Dick Riggs wasn't worthy. Thor's hab- yeah. Thor's oh, hammer. We love Dick Riggs, but he wasn't worthy. God love him. He wasn't worthy. Sam uh, Cannon came over, tried to pick it up. Couldn't Sam pick Cena. It up. Sam Cena, I beg your pardon. Couldn't pick it up. And then Brownie came over. Yeah. He's worthy. Which makes sense. Which makes sense. Viking yeah, himself is, yeah, Viking God and whatever. Yeah. And you know, but I thought the Rumble was great. Rumble um, was great. There were lots of like some some old faces returning. It was great to see Shinji Yamada back. And there was, he wasn't in it. Oh, not Shinji. <laughs> Who was it? The Deadly Scott Scorpion. Deadly Scott Scorpion was the guy and, I was after. Um, you know what? Speaking of which, and, I miss Shinji. And, I really do yeah, miss Shinji Yamada. Oath, bro, I wish oath. he was back. Yeah, it was such a tease. We saw it in the group chat. We Shinji's saw it in the back. chat that Shinji was back, and that's and why I got so hot. Unfortunately, for it. he couldn't. But no, Scott Scorpion was who I was thinking. Deadly of. Scott Scorpion. Good to see him back. Um. Jackson O'Reilly. Jackson O'Reilly. And set of gear. And... Um, Drop me with a Simone drop. Oh. And... Um, Oni Minowa is what you're going to talk about. <laughs> yes, the yellow devil. Uh. The yellow devil, bro. My boy comes in house of fire. You come in straight off your entrance. Let's go. You're in, you're hot. Let's do stuff. Normally, it's coming and you lay people out. Boom, 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 boom. Are you my- saying he didn't lay me out? <laughs> he comes over Gabriel. to you. Gives you a snap mare, the hardest the snap mare hardest in wrestling. Snap mare. Sits you up. Nearly ripped the base of my skull off. <laughs> Absolutely. And he knew that. He knew that. <laughs> he, he knew he nearly that. ripped the base so, of your skull off. So what does he do? Locks in a chin lock. Uh, my boy hit what the, the lads in the business call a rest hold in a rumble. It was... Bro, it was... Painful. Oh, no doubt. It would have... Bro, you couldn't breathe, no doubt. 100%. There's nothing. At one point, I was... I was listening to someone just dump me out. I, just throw me out. I saw that. You couldn't breathe, and I couldn't breathe either for <laughs> different reasons. I was wheezing. I was like, bro, are you uh, kidding? You come in. This is your moment. You have 60 seconds where it's just about you, the new entrant, and you come in, and he's like, yep, this is prime. Slap a chin lock. <laughs> but you know what? Technical old style wrestling. I we we as uh, <laughs> professionals would never rag on somebody for... Um, I would. <laughs> we would I never would. rag on somebody <laughs> somebody um, just to make fun. Obviously, we use our experience as a learning curve. We use it as a, as a reason to teach and to be able to educate the next generation. So those listening? Um, if you're ever in a hardcore rumble... Never. Ever. <laughs> try never to slap on a chin lock in a at snapmare. The, at the very least. Never do that as your first spot. <laughs> yeah, at the very least... Don't open with that. Wait a little bit later. Yeah. If you want, if you're so gassed. so set on 
working old technical wrestling holds, fine. Yeah. Do it later. Just maybe not on your entrance. Yeah. But in saying that, other hot entrances was a lot of the Venom boys. Yeah. That was really cool that they came up. You know who's cool? B-Lars. B-Lars is really cool. B-Lars, he is so cool, bro. He is. he is. very, very cool. He is the most... I'm going to say it. He is the most athletic guy in Queensland wrestling today. Yeah, I, I would have to agree. Bro, he hit the... Um, he hit the ricochet. ricochet. The front, front flip. Front flip over land on your feet. On the outside. In the entrance. Mental. Yeah, he was... It was insane. Unbelievable. Mind-boggling. How, Absolutely. How athletic that dude is. And... Considering how athletic he is, how easy he is to cheer, the fact that he's so over as a heel in Venom is just a testament to his work. It just shows how good he is as a worker, yeah. that he can be all super flippy and do stuff that warrants cheers mm. and get booed out the place every single time. Yeah. No, he's really good. Um, the street fight was great. Uh, yep. Brownie and Champ Phoenix. Yep. Um, street fight popped Champ's off. Champ's got an incredible online presence. And he does. I think some of his... Stuff that he's been putting out recently has just yep. been so ludicrously entertaining. Yeah. So, yeah. Yep. yep. I think that, that was... Um, that match as a whole was great fun. Yeah. A lot of fun for me to, yep. to watch as a, as, a, as a fan. Yep. Um, Brownie's great. He's always been great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he always the, will be. Like big... The, two, just, two dudes just two smacking really the hell out work, of each other. Yeah. Two really good workers in that they both listen to the crowd really well. And you know, they pick their moments and they know when to... Listen, when to react, when to not react to the crowd, with the crowd, yeah. against the crowd. The two of them combined, they know how to do it really, really well. And, and they've had a couple of really, really good, good encounters against each other as well. So, it, they um, yeah, they, they definitely have a good in-ring chemistry now, yeah, which is great. Definitely. Um, I mean, Dick Riggs did his thing against Tyson DeHaan. Yep. Um, oh, another very good, nice, solid sleeper uh, match. Yeah, yeah, 100%. That's exactly what I was going to say. It's a sleeper Big for Big time, sure. because Spooks killed it. Like... Spooks can work, man. Spooks the boy can, can go. Can the boy work. can go. Yeah. I love the... And I told him this as well. His When he took the Euro into the GTS, he got it was a pop-up Euro. Yeah. On the pop-up, big flailing of arms, bang, Euro, knocked him out. And yeah. I'm like, that's really cool. And I told him, like, bro, that was really, really good. It yeah. was the big flail, flail, lots of movement. Crack. Hit, dead movement. It properly... Sent him through a loop. Yeah. yeah really, really good. And I then into huge. the GTS was, was yep. perfect. Yep. Um, into the case closed. Yeah, into the case closed. Um, the match, Klaus. Yep, Klaus's match. Well, Klaus and B. Uh, Klaus and B. Yeah, was was great. Um, like I said, I've already bigged up Bilar's massive. For, Ultra for Love's back. Was. Ultra Love coming back was huge. The crowd massive. was super receptive. Massive. And who's that? The damn guy. The that, big mask man. The big masked man. I had no idea. I don't know who he was. He just cannoned out of the gate. <laughs> he he just cannoned. Out of the gate. I have no idea who he was, but I'm sure no. we'll get answers Absolutely. at the next show. At the next show. November 20th. November 20th. Ground Zero 08. We'll open it up like a bit of canned salmon. Canned salmon. Yeah, good. Well done. But who knows who it was? Who knows? No one knows. Some jigsaw pieces there. You put them together. Yeah. Um, middle 8 8 tournament starts up in November. Yes. Yes. It has now been announced. <laughs> it has been announced. Has it? Yeah. Okay. Klaus cashed in, bro. He did. Oh, and yeah, and, and, yeah, ground zero is when we have a middleweight eight. Is when we have the middleweight eight. Yes. Correcto mundo. Yeah, so that wasn't a spoiler. That's all right. I did my research. Very good. Yeah, I didn't. We're going to double check that just before we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, November 20th, the next WA show. Yeah. It's going to be huge. So it's Klaus v uh, Tommy. He said he's going to... For the big boy belt. For the big boy belt. He said he's going to release an update later on. Yeah, so it possibly may be released by the time this video... Uh, by keep the time on, this podcast has come out Keep up on the socials like Klaus Sterling The yeah. big fella The big fella um, And finally The ladder match was um, Brutal As As I've From Hardcore Halloween As I've found out Because the veil is so thin That, that I have you, now worn The same scars Yeah You got the same injury And you I weren't even the same in injury And I wasn't even in it But um, yeah they, That match was Was hectic There was stuff going everywhere Yeah Seth Tyler's was, it was oh. looking, By the way Can I just say He was incredible he in that match He really was he like was a, a sleeper in that match. Yeah, he. he I think. Like, I think a lot of people had been used geez. to Seth Tyler's sort of hanging on the MDC coattails a little bit. That people have been. And I don't think he's going to feel disrespected by me saying this. People have slept on how good he is. Yeah, absolutely. Like as a he's, as a competitor. Yeah, hundred percent. People have taken him for granted. Bingo. With how good he actually is in 100%, the ring, absolutely. and in that ladder match. Yeah, bro. He came storming to the forefront mm-hmm. about his pacing, Everything. his work rate, all of it, his yeah. 
agility, his, his fire. fire. He, oh my goodness, everything, 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 everything. Everything he did was incredible, and I think people have been sleeping on Seth Tyler's for mm-hmm. a little bit. Mm-hmm. He proved once and for all in that ladder match how immensely he reminded good. us. He re- yeah reminded, he reminded us, us. Yeah. how immensely good he yeah. is yeah. as a professional. Yeah, hundred percent. We've got. I'm gonna say it. Seth Tyler's is back, baby. <laughs> Seth Tyler's is back, bro. There's. Keep your eye on him. He is going yeah. to explode 100%. in 2022. That's like, my prediction. There's a he lot is of, going to explode. There are a lot, a lot of, and it's easy to say, but there is a lot of A level talent at QWA. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, there is a lot of A A grade A level talent, and it is, it's they're just waiting to show to yep. show what they can do. Yeah, yeah. But but that was our little roundup of Hardcore Halloween. Yeah, uh, our next lovely. QWA show coming up is uh, Ground Zero Eight, as we've already said, November twentieth at the Centenary Hotel in Pimlico. Definitely be um, www.qldwa.com.au if you'd like to grab tickets or come along, or if not, stick by on the YouTube's and you can watch all video highlights and the Facebook page and all of that will come out as it's released. Exactly. So if you want to support. The QW, if you're in Universe 4810, you want to support QWA, Queensland Wrestling Alliance, definitely hit it up. If you want to support us, you want to support the podcast, hopefully you do. If you've listened this far along and you're right here at the end, you want to support us, you can share. Share the pod, get people listening, get people watching. Um, if you want to try and, if you want to support us monetarily, you can hit us up, patreon.com slash bro day tag team. Bro day tag team. Yep. If you want to support and follow myself, Gabriel Zaya, I am at the real Gabe Bro. On Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. If you'd like to follow me, Trono Day, I am at OdayQWA on all of the same platforms. Um, other than that, we love you. Goodbye. Bye. Tag. <laughs>